Hi guys, I'm Eduardo and today we are going to see how to replace a built-up vertex from any 3D printer, in my case from my ANET A8. And a few days ago I buffed a new roll of PETG filament on Amazon and as usual I was calibrating both the slider and the printer to be able to print at best. Unfortunately the nozzle came too close to the heat bed and the material melted the built-up vertex after some problems with the Z offset. So, while I was trying to remove the printed model, a piece of the vertex surface was also damaged. I had to buy a new one and today we are going to replace it. First of all, I have to remove the whole surface using a pallet knife or a box cutter. Then I'll have to clean the aluminium belt with alcohol. Next, I take the new vertex surface and crop it to desired size. The Aneta 8 bed measures 220 x 220 mm instead of the 230 x 215 mm of the vertex. So I decided to cut a square of 215 mm and then cut out a space to leave the bed calibration screws accessible. In my opinion, it's useful to leave the screws accessible even if the calibration takes place under the bed. Finally, I remove the two foils and apply the vertex to the heat bed, being as precise as possible. After all, check that you didn't move the heat bed. You should repeat the use of bed calibration. Now I can start to print without any problems to the heat bed. Well, I hope you find this tutorial helpful. For any question, please write it in the comments below and see you next time. Bye!